Hi kids, my name is Greg and I'm one of the artists at Big Idea. And today I'm going to teach you guys how to draw Federation Trash Rangers, which are actually giant ants. And so for this you're going to need a purple crayon, and a pink crayon, and a black crayon. So let's get started. Okay, over here on the right side of the paper, we're going to start off with kind of a triangular circular shape. It's going to be wider on the top and pointier down at the bottom. Now we're going to draw the body of the ant that kind of goes back behind the head like this. And we'll draw the big bulb part of the ant that goes back here behind the body again. So we're going to draw a big circle that kind of goes here. And there's kind of a little bit of a, like a stinger thing that's down here on the bottom. So we'll go down like this and kind of put the stinger there. So now we've got the basics of the body. And we're going to start adding all the fun details now. So we're going to put the eyeball of the ant right there and the other one over here. And its pinchers will go underneath of the eyes. And they kind of have this S shape. They kind of go in and out. And we'll draw kind of an eyebrow ridge over top of the eye. And then we're going to add, let's see, let's add the arms and legs now. So there's actually three on each side. So we're going to draw little circles to kind of show you where to start drawing the arms and legs. So we're going to draw this back one first. And it's going to come out and then up kind of high. And then it's going to go back to about here. And we'll kind of draw and make it thicker. Kind of like that. And then this next one, we're going to have come a little bit further towards us. So we'll draw this right here. And then this, this one is actually going to be a little bit smaller, and it kind of comes towards us. So it goes like this. And then they're kind of, they're rounded off at the base. And they kind of have these little connecting circles right there. So now we've, we've got it kind of a template built for each one of the legs on this side of the body. Now we have to imagine that there's three legs on the other side of the body as well. So they would kind of be over here. So this one is behind the head. It goes down like this and then kind of goes up just like this one goes up and then comes out over here. And then this one will go out and it'll go up back behind the head again and come down right there. And then this third one would kind of start maybe about here and it would go up and then come down maybe back here or so. So we need to add the antenna for our ant. And it's going to go up and kind of bend. So we'll put it back here behind the eye and have it come over and then bend kind of towards us. And then there'll be another one back here behind this eye. So now we've built most of the ant, and we're going to get into the smaller details and have, have some more fun to kind of finish it off and uh, make it look real pretty. So starting about here, on each of the legs of these ants, it starts getting kind of ribbed. It kind of starts doing this kind of, and actually, in fact, you can either do it this way, like I'm doing it one at a time, or you can do this, 
and you don't even have to finish it off if you don't want. But if you do this, you can also just keep drawing like what I was originally drawing. And then they kind of come to a point down here. So we'll kind of do the same thing over here. And let's see, that one would start about here maybe. This kind of gives it more of an insect-like appearance, a little more creepy. And we'll put some over here too. So we've got the legs, and now we're going to do it up here on the, on the antennas. They're going to go back like this. And then they'll come down like this. And we're going to do it over here as well. OK, so now we've drawn most of the hard stuff on the ant. Now we just get a color and kind of clean it up and make it look fun. So what we can do, the, all these rib parts are all going to be pink. So you can kind of color. I color it lightly. You can color it dark if you want. And the antennas are totally pink, too. And the eyes are going to be black. And I like to leave like a little highlight that kind of shows that they're shiny. So we'll color all of that in. Now, the entire ant is purple. And if you want to use up your entire crayon and color it purple, you can do that. Or you can just use your black crayon. Actually, you can, you can use your black crayon or you can use your purple crayon. But I'm going to use my black one to kind of show what I mean. We've got all these lines that are kind of overlapping each other. And it kind of makes the drawing a little bit messy. So you can take your black crayon and you can actually now start to clean it up by going over top of what you already drew. And that way, you can draw things that go behind. Like here, how that, let's see, this leg comes forward. And then this leg goes behind. And it kind of just shows more what's going on in the drawing. So you can go over the entire piece if you want and clean it all up. And actually, the benefit of doing it with black is that you can go back then and color it purple if you want color the whole ant purple, because then you'll know what's going on in the drawing. I think you get the idea on that. But the benefit of, of doing it black now is because if you did want to color your whole thing in purple, you can do it, and it'll start to look OK. Because the black lines will still show where everything is going. Oh, and I forgot. The, uh, the pinchers on the ant are actually pink, too. So you can color that in. And then if you want to color these back legs, you can do that, too. I didn't do them all in black because it starts to get a little bit confusing. But you can do that if you want. And that's our Federation Trash Ranger. Hope you guys had fun, and we'll see you next time.